After purchasing the Kaya House in April, the historic Savannah Foundation put a temporary roof over the rotting structure in September to keep it dry during the hurricane season, according to Ryan Jarles, HSF's Director of Preservation and Historic Properties. HSF also had an engineer evaluate the property to determine what is wrong with the structure, Jarles said. In addition, they are working to get the property listed on the National Register of Historic Places which will open the door for grant opportunities and tax credits to help restore the structure. Built in 1915, the house at 505 West 36th Street in historic Kyler Brownville was transformed into a community museum in the late 1950s by the late artist and educator Virginia Jackson Kaya and her husband Calvin Kaya, a former dean of education at Savannah State College. In July 2021, the Savannah City Council voted to designate the Kaya House a local historic structure, along with 89 other Kyler Brownville properties. Then in December 2021, the City Council approved the African Diaspora Museology Institute's request to install a historical marker outside the home to recognize the significance of the property. The sale of the property to HSF came after years of deterioration resulting from a more than two decade old Chatham County probate case concerning Virginia Kaya's estate. After obtaining the engineer's report, HSF intends to start holding public engagement events to determine the future use of the property, Joel said.